Hi, Dave here at Photokina 2016, and I'm on the Sinar Leica stand with Daniela, and I understand you've got something very interesting, very new to show us. Yes, we do have the Sina Bag S3045. Um, it is a digital bag, and it's uh, made for our Sina P3 view camera. But the good thing is, finally, Sinar has a mobile digital bag. That means uh, it comes along with a display, a battery, a CF card, an SD card. It has a Wi-Fi connection, so you can connect over, over uh, Wi-Fi. And so it really completes the Sina system. Okay, and uh, you were telling me something about what Sina stands for, and that's kind of where you're going with this. So Sina was actually an acronym. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, it is an acronym. And, uh, that means uh, the S is for studio, the I is for industry, the N for nature, A for architecture, and R for reprography. And so now with this new back, you've got a system that can fulfill all of those by, give, by creating a mobile solution. Yeah, that's right. Our former Sina bags um, have been specially designed for the work in the studio. So They've been made for shooting tether to the computer as we do use the multi-shot technology that requires that it's triggered over the software. And um, somehow we figured out that the photographer would like to, you to have a more versatile system and that allows him to easily pack his camera and uh, go outside and do the job outside the studio. One of the things you were mentioning about this, obviously, Sinar or Sinar is known very much for their stills, but you said something about video as well with this back. No, oh, I'm sorry, I already forgot about that. Yes, of course, we are moving, we are moving forward, and uh, the Sinar Back S3045 offers you the possibility to do uh, HD video and a 4K video as well. So the back will fit on a variety of cameras, not just this more studio based setup that we see here, but something maybe a little more lightweight. Yeah, of course. Um, here is the Sina P3, that, um, that is the studio workhorse. So it allows you to control sharpness and perspective. So we do have our own software that allows you to do that. So what is special in the Sina system is that we do know about um, the vertical and horizontal axis. So you pretty easily can do a shine flow adjustment by just focusing on two steps. And um, so yes, this is the, the studio solution and uh, for landscape and architectural work we do have our smaller, lightweighter and compact Sina Lantex system. Shall we go over? Okay, so we've now come over and we've got the back, the, the S3045 on your Lantec camera. Tell me a little bit more about the back and what you've got here. So um, the Lantec is our mobile uh, camera, so it is not that huge and big uh, as our P3 camera, so it's the more compact, lightweight solution that you would like to go out with and, and shoot your landscape or, or your architectural work. So um, this is not really a camera system that, that, that is mobile and um, so we, for example, do have an app for that. And I really do like that because um, it gives you that uh, few camera feeling that you had in, from the former times with the 4 by 5 inch cameras. So you see, you can do all your um, horizontal and, and your verti vertical um, shift. So it is, a, it is a real cool, cool combination. So you can use uh, the app in order to zoom in. Um, and uh, to, in order to, to focus. So it's a, it's a perfect solution out there. Yeah. And just coming back to the back here, what, what's the resolution on this back? What's it based on? It's a CMOS sensor and it's 37.5 megapixel. Okay. Yeah. okay, so we're talking quite high resolution. And you said both compact flash and SD card slots as well. Yes, so you can uh, you can store uh, JPEG and DNG separately, or you can uh, store um, uh, at both cards, and then you have a backup directly. So, so really, it's a solution for for someone that might want to work in the studio or go out on location. They can do it both with with one back. Yeah, that's the idea behind that. Perfect. And, and what I really like is uh, is that red nice button because you can directly start your video capture. Okay. So it's pretty easy. It is. It, I mean, it, it looks very simple. It, it looks very high end and, and like, uh, I assume it's going to produce great, great results. Yes, and you see it's Swiss made. 
works like Swiss clockwork. Um, and what is the price and availability? When can we see it in the market? When? Uh, how much is it going to cost? Um, we already started the production, so we will ship pretty soon, and the price is uh, 13,450 euro. Okay. Okay, so certainly at the high end of the market, but obviously if you're in that kind of space, if you're looking for a very high-end camera, then well, this one's probably certainly worth checking out. Thank you very much, Daniela. Thank you.